Hello, this is Socially Triggered, and this video is going to be me taking the political compass test. So um, I guess there's a bunch of questions, and I'll go uh, through the questions and uh, see where I fall on the political spectrum. So the first question is, if ep economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the needs of transnational corporations corporations. Um, I would disagree with that. I actually think that uh, if we're going to have any kind of globalization, it should be economic, uh, but not necessarily the breaking down of nation states. So if it, I, I think uh, I would have to disagree with that. Okay, so the next one is I'd always support my country, whether it was right or wrong. I'm going to disagree with that because um, though I'm very nationalistic in my viewpoint, I, uh, I don't always agree with my country and the stances it takes. Currently with the Trudeau government, I don't agree with many of the things that they do. So I wouldn't support my country in that respect, that uh, the government has too much influence. I would support my country in a general perspective, but not necessarily uh, in the, some of the decisions the government makes. So I'm going to say disagree. No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it would be foolish to be proud of it. I disagree. I would actually strongly disagree. Because um, the thing is, uh, we are born of our parents, and our parents' parents, and so forth. And there is sort of a, a uh, history that we can associate to our country and that we're part of that history biologically part of that history because we are maybe multiple generations associated to this country and there's a lot of pride that we can take in our country and our uh, in our nationhood so I would disagree with that very strongly um, our race has many superior qualities compared to other races well <laughs> that's like a that's the ultimate racist question, right? So, uh, do we believe in racial superiority? I believe that for me, I'm used to being white. Um, that's sort of what I've grown up being, uh, and I, I like to think of my race as being the best race, just because it's the race that I am. Um, whether it's superior or not. Uh, um, it's superior for me, so I'm going to just say agree, but not strongly agree, because I'm not, I'm not like super like fond of my race compared to other races. I think other races have their validities too, and why they're great too. So I'm a little bit, yeah, I just say agree on that one. Uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Huh. Um, I would. Um, I would agree, generally, um, that you're facing the same sides of uh, the problem and that, you know, you should seek allies. So I, I would agree, I guess, on that. Uh, next one, military action defies international law is sometimes justified. Hmm. I'm not super fond of military interventionism. Um... So I would have to uh, disagree, but not strongly disagree, because um, you know there's sometimes when we do things that uh, for long-term goals, uh, there is no. Oh, sorry, there is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Information and entertainment. Um, actually, I don't mind. Um, I would disagree with that. Like, I don't see it as worrying that we mix information and entertainment. I actually like uh, entertainment that informs. So hopefully that's a good thing. I'll say disagree. I don't see it as worrying. Okay, next one. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. I believe that you can actually go between classes. 
I know in places like England, class really does define the person. Um, but uh, And India is another good example of that. But in North America, uh, you can as you can really shift between the different classes uh, very easily. I have friends that were very poor. Um, I had points in my life where I was poor. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think class uh, divides us as much as nationality sometimes. Like being from different nation states can be really um, dividing. So. I would disagree. Not strongly so. Uh, controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Uh, I don't like the idea of controlling inflation because that's central banks. Um, and I don't like the idea of controlling unemployment. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm a free market kind of guy. Um, but I just don't like either, so I'm not sure how to respond to this. So I guess I'm going to say agree, but it's not like I don't believe in controlling either, so it seems kind of weird. Um, because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulations. A regulation. I disagree strongly. Um, strangely enough, when you actually provide less regulations on corporations, they actually do a better job environmentally. Um, and if you look at government uh, businesses, which are should be heavily regulated, they actually have horrid records on um, environmental uh, concerns. So um, yeah, I'm not really for strong government regulations. I don't see them actually achieving the goals that they set out to do. Um, from from each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. I would strongly agree with that. Yes, that's meritocracy. So I, I, I strongly believe in meritocracy. Um, that, okay. Uh, it's a sad reflection on our society that someone, that something as basic as drinking water is now bottled and branded as a consumer product. No, I strongly disagree. Um, anything can be a product. You can, if you bottled air and sold it and people were willing to pay for it, then that's fine. You can do it. I, I'm free market kind of guy. So if anyone's willing to pay for it, it's like selling a, a ice cream to Eskimos kind of thing. You know, if they're willing to pay for it, then, uh, that's that's fine. That's capitalism. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and, and sold. Wow, uh, that's total communism. Uh, land is something that should be bought and sold. So yeah, I strongly disagree with that one. Um, it is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Wow. That's, this is one of those things where I hate this kind of question. It's like, totally doesn't understand the markets. People that invest in the markets, they, they call that manipulation, but that's actually an investment. They've actually used that money in a way that has helped the economy. So uh, I'm, I'm, I strongly disagree with that one. Uh, protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. No. No, I strongly disagree with that as well. So, um, yeah, I don't believe in protectionism. I believe in free trade as much as possible. Um, the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Um, I would agree, not strongly on this one. I believe that there's more to it than that. That you, It's not just about satisfying the shareholders. You have to satisfy your employees to make them happy, to be successful in business. You have to make your shareholders happy, but your employees happy. And the third group is your actual customers happy. If you achieve those three things, then you're doing a good job. 
but this is just one of the three things that I would say is important. So I'd say agree, but not, the, it's not the only, but yeah, it's important. The rich are ta high, too highly taxed. I would um, agree strongly on that. Um, the rich are highly taxed, and it's not a very effective way of getting taxation. If you tax the rich a lot, they'll just hide the money. It's just the way it works because they have the money to hire an accountant. They have the um, ability to move that money around so that they can hide it. Um, it's a fact. Even Trump mentioned this during the election. And he said when he was streamlining the tax laws that it was actually going to cost him more money in taxes, even though the tax uh, taxes were lower. He would actually pay more as a result. So one thing that they always say is, like, if you tax people too much, you can actually lose revenue as a government. So, yes, I think they are strongly overly taxed. Um, those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. Strongly agree. Believe it or not, if, if you give people a um, higher level of access to a, a much higher level of health care, that's a good thing where they're paying for it. Because what's happening is those people that are paying more for the higher level of healthcare are actually subsidizing that research and development into more uh, advanced treatments. And it, it trickles down. The, the knowledge that's gained is gets used in um, you know, providing healthcare for everybody. So it's not just like one group gets the benefit and nobody else gains from it. Well, everybody benefits from it. And also because they're contributing to the healthcare system, they are they're off offsetting a lot of the costs that the the majority, especially in Canada, well, if we had a two-tier system, the the rich paying for higher end healthcare, well that takes them out of the the market for the lower end healthcare care that the majority of us would would be using. So it just it reduces some of the burden of the of the majority of the healthcare. So I see it as a really good thing. Um, governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public. I would agree with that. Um, you should never mislead your um, uh, the public, uh, just like in anything. Um, whether or not the government should be doing that. I'm a little bit skeptical about, but in general, people should punish companies for being disingenuous or manipulating facts or not saying, you know, not saying what their product does. And there should be some implications uh, to those uh, uh, reap repercussions for that kind of activity. So I would agree to a certain extent, not necessarily just governments, but people in general. Um, Genuine, a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predatory multinationals to create monopolies. Believe it or not, uh, even though there are some borderline monopolies, there's always, if you create protections, you actually help those monopolies form. Uh, I always think of the example of Ma Bell, where they tried to they control the phone company and they basically created a monopoly in doing so. So uh, I, restrictions can actually work against preventing monopolies. They can actually encourage monopolies. So I would disagree on that one. Maybe not strongly, but just disagree. The freer the market, the freer the people. I would strongly agree with that. Okay, next page. Abortion, when a woman's life is not threatened, should be illegal. I actually believe that women have should have the uh, freedom of choice, whether or not they um, want to have an abortion or not. I know that I am conservative, but um, in this case, I'm not that conservative. I actually believe in the freedom of women's choice. Um, so I would disagree on that. All authorities should be questioned. 
Yeah, I agree. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Uh, yeah, definitely going to be a blind, toothless society if we do that. So I would disagree with that. I don't believe in like just you know retaliating all the time. So I would disagree. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Yes, if a theater or museum can't survive on a commercial basis, then there's probably not much um, interest in those museums or theaters. And, you know, is, is it really right to be supporting something that with our taxpayer money that uh, people are just not interested in. So I wouldn't strongly disagree, but I would disagree because I actually do like museums. Um, but uh, if the government didn't fund them, I would find ways of funding them myself and like through community activities. So uh, I just don't see taxpayer money as being the most effective way of achieving that goal of funding a museum. Okay. Oh, shoot. Taxpayers should not be expected to. Oh, yes. Sorry. I meant agree <laughs> with that last one. Um, schools should not make a class, make classroom attendance compulsory. Um, I actually disagree. Um, So I'm just thinking about this one. So schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I was sort of, I, was just, I would disagree with that. I think it should be compulsory that you should do some school, especially when you're younger. Um, whether or not it's a school or at home education, but some kind of education should be compulsory. Um, I know that's not very libertarian, but uh, I do believe education is important. Um, all people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. <laughs> um, no. I believe that we should have freedom of association. Uh, if we want to keep to our own kind, then we should be allowed to. But if we don't want to keep to our own kind, then we should be allowed to as well. So, um, so I would strongly disagree with that, actually. Uh, good parents should sometimes spank their children. I disagree. I don't find spanking as an effective form of uh, disciplining. There's other ways. Uh, it's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yes. Um, I agree with that. Like, people keep secrets. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. I would agree with that as well. Uh, I don't like the use of marijuana. I'm very anti-drug. Uh, kind of person, but um, it's a personal choice. So if, if you have that inkling to use marijuana, well, that's your own choice. The government shouldn't make the decision for you. The prime function of schooling should be to equip future generation to find jobs. I would strongly agree with that, that you basically use school as a way to harness, to develop your skills so that you can um, go out into the workplace. Uh, that's one of the problems with schools nowadays. They're really lacking in that ability where they're not really training kids to have the skills they need in order to go into the workplace. Uh, people with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. <laughs> Eugenics, awesome. Um, I would actually agree with this, that if you have a, 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 dis, a, a genetic disorder, that is going to be transmitted to future generations. We should, as a society, uh, prevent that from being transmitted to future generations because it's just going to be a burden to future generations. 
So uh, I would actually, I would agree, not strongly. I'm not going to go around euthanizing all the, all the, <laughs> all the people with uh, physical disabilities, but or inherited disabilities. But, but uh, I do believe they should be. It should be considered that they shouldn't be allowed to breed. Um, I know it's harsh. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. Accepting discipline is important, but it's not the most important thing. So uh, there's so much more to learn. So I'm going to disagree, actually, on that one. It's important to learn discipline, but it's not the most important thing. Um, there is no salvage and savage, sorry, there is no savage and civilized peoples that are only, there are only different cultures. Uh, I would I, I disagree with that strongly, actually. There are primitive cultures. It's just, sorry, it's just the way it is. There are primitive cultures and there's more sophisticated cultures. Uh, it doesn't make them work just because they're, they're primitive doesn't make them uncool. Like I, I, I do see value and merit in terms of understanding those primitive cultures, but um, you know there is a different difference difference between cultures where some cultures are superior to others. Uh, those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. I would strongly agree. If you don't seek to work and uh, you have the ability to work, then why should we why should we take care of you? Okay? So I believe that work ethic is very important. When you are troubled, it is better to not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Um I, I somewhat agree with that. Sometimes we dwell on things too much. Uh, it's one of those things nowadays where they try to encourage people to um, discuss their emotions, but sometimes that actually doesn't work well for them. Sometimes working through it in a sort of more casual way where you're not thinking about it all the time kind of works better. That's just a personal opinion on it. I don't really know what the science says, but um, I think sometimes we dwell on things too much and it actually is a detriment. Uh, first generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Um, it depends on how far the cultures div you know, vary. Uh, some cultures are just too distinct where it's really hard to integrate. So I'm gonna say I agree with that but not strongly because it depends on the cultures that they're moving from. What's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for all of us. Um, sure, uh, to a certain extent, uh, there is a capitalistic thing here where if a company is doing uh, it, what it sees as maximizing profit, it is actually ultimately good for us because it's doing things that are providing services that we can enjoy and uh, will benefit us. Um, so I, I see that as somewhat true. I wouldn't say strongly agree on it, but somewhat true. Uh, no broadcasting institution, how, however independent its content, should receive public funding. I would agree with that. The CBC in Canada is horrible. BBC in the UK is horrible. They are they're very ideological, and they um, <laughs> if you if you ever hear fake news, that's usually a <laughs> public broadcaster. Uh, I'm I'm really against public funding of uh, uh, you know of these kind of things. Um, yeah, next page. Okay. Our civil liberties are excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Um, I would agree. 
they they came up with some pretty crazy laws that I do not believe are just, where they sort of go around people's liberties in order to achieve a goal of uh, cracking down on terrorism. I was very against some of the rules that were implemented during the Bush and Obama eras regarding this. So yeah, I would agree. A significant advantage of one party state is that it avoids all arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. <laughs> Sure, it avoids arguments, but also leads to totalitarianism, which is not a good thing. Um, you need a bit of back and forth in order to make uh, things work. So I would disagree. Though the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, easier, ah, easier. Wow, <clears throat> I'm tired. So yeah, forgive me on the, if I mispronounce things. Uh, it's five o'clock in the morning when I'm recording this, just so you know. Uh, although the electronic age makes civil, uh, oh, makes <laughs> official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Um, I would strongly disagree. I don't like the fact that uh, the government is spying on all of our activities. I, I believe in uh, private, pri uh, you know, privacy and uh, protection for people's uh, rights. Uh, the death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. I you would actually, if you had asked me this 20 years ago, I would have been like, no. But um, now I'm actually kind of my children are the ones that kind of convince me maybe that there is some benefit to having a death sentence. Um, so I would actually agree on that. Not strongly, but I would agree. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Um, wow, they really like that postmodernist uh, kind of way of it's either them or us, you know, kind of controllers and controlled oppressed oppress and oppressors. Um, I don't believe that it's a case where it's like one obeyed and commanded that. It's like, it sounds horrible. I'm just going to disagree on that because it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, abstract art doesn't represent anything that shouldn't be considered at all. Wow, this is like double negatives and stuff. Okay, abstract art doesn't represent anything. Shouldn't shouldn't be considered art at all. Okay, well, art is very subjective, so I would uh, disagree because art is in the eye of, eye of the beholder. If it's art for you, then it's art. Dogs playing poker is a good example of that. Okay, uh, in criminal justice, Punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I would disagree. Uh, there should be some rehabilitation because you want these people to come back into society. Um, it is a waste of time to rehabilitate some criminals. I agree. Some are just, they're not, there's no hope. You know, it is what it is. Uh, the business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Um, I would agree, just because I'm a business person, I'm going to go for my own side on this. But I wouldn't strongly agree. Um, you know, there is some benefit to the writer and the artist. There, the creative arts do help um, the other arts, which is business and stuff. Where where we get inspired by each other. So they both have their role to play, but uh, business does get the world going. Um, mothers may, may have careers, but their, their first duty should be homemakers. Well, if they're mothers in home, like this is the way I'm interpreting this, mothers and homemakers. So the idea is that mothers, if they're mothers, then they have children and they should 
take care of those children, which is homemakers. So, yes, I would even say the same about fathers, that their, their first duty should be to their family. So, um, yes, I strongly agree with that, but not in the way that they might imply. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the, the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Well, that I would uh, probably strongly disagree. Like, yeah, the thing is, in those developing countries, um, they're not doing the research that they need to because they don't have the funds to do the research. So it's good that somebody is um, developing that knowledge. Um, so I would strongly disagree. I, I see there's a benefit there. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. I would agree. Um, usually as a conservative, you, you kind of accept the establishment a bit more. You don't become too rebellious, um, unless the establishment kind of goes where it's going lately, which is to go uh, just in a weird, crazy route. But um, you, one makes peace with the, their establishment as they get older. So for me, I, I would agree, but not strongly agree, because I'm always slightly rebellious. Um, let's go to the next page. It's a long test. OK, astrology. <laughs> accurately explains many things. I, I actually like astrology, but, uh, you know, I only like it because it's, it sounds fun. I don't necessarily believe it, so I'm going to strongly disagree. Um, you cannot be moral without being religious. Uh, I disagree. You can be moral without being religious. You cannot be moral without being religious. I always I hate when they do these double negatives. It's really obnoxious. You can be moral with being religious. <laughs> with you removing those double negatives. I just always... Um, okay. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the generally disadvantaged. Um... I would strongly agree. There's lots of evidence about this as well, that we were actually much more charitable and the money was much more efficiently used when the government wasn't involved in charity. Uh, government charities, usually most of the money is used within the government as administrative um, and only a small per percentage of the, of the funds actually get used for the charity. And often the charities are ones that are in league with the government or not necessarily ones that benefit the people that we want to benefit. We don't get to choose where the money goes. So I'm very against the whole idea of government being involved in charity. Some people are naturally unlucky. Well, as a scientist, I don't necessarily believe in luck. I feel that there's luck. We, you know, we have this sort of uh, maybe primal element where we feel that there's luck and, and you know, unluckiness. But um, I would disagree uh, that there are people that have hardships, but um, there's usually a reason behind it. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. Uh, I would disagree. Uh, schools should not be um, religious or instill religious ideas, though they can teach religion. I don't mind schools teaching religion because it's something that children should be aware of, but it shouldn't instill religious values because there's a lot of religions where I don't agree with the values that they're teaching. Okay, last page. Finally, a look at sex. <clears throat> Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. 
Wow. Okay, well, marriage is actually about allowing couples to have sex. That was the original reason. It was about having children. Um, but I disagree. I believe um, we should be allowed to have sex outside of marriage. Um, and it's not a moral thing. Um, it's better if you can avoid having sex until you are married. But, you know, I'm not going to force people uh, to uh, get married just to have sex. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Ah, this is a hard one because I've seen the studies and generally it's not healthy. It's hard, like I actually have lots of gay friends and I feel bad for them, but uh, it's better if a child is raised with a parent of each gender rather than two of the same gender. It's just statistically it's better. But if it's, the, so I'm going to say I uh, agree on this because I do believe that having two parents is better than one because there are, you know, if the child is given that option, well, the best case scenario is a man or a woman. Second best case scenario is at least a couple. Uh, so I'm going to agree, but uh, there's a lot of evidence to say that it's just not the greatest. Being a, a single parent, though, is the, by far the worst. Um, okay, pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. I would strongly agree. I have nothing against pornography. Uh, what does what goes on in private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. I uh, strongly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Uh, no, homosexuality is not as actually happens in nature. Um, so yeah, that's just factually true that homosexuality exists. It may be rare, but it still exists. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. Um, I would agree. Um, there's, there are some barriers that um, need to be understood. Um, but, you know, we don't need to hear hear everybody's sex lives to, you know, and sometimes it's good to be private about certain things. So I would agree on that. And that's just because I'm a very private person, despite the fact that I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> now, let's see where you stand. So let's see how I did on this. Okay, about the political compass, left, right. Okay, so... Am I Stalin or am I Pol Pot? So let's go down. Okay, this is the spectrum here. So left, right, authoritarian, libertarian, where am I? Okay, so there's Stalin over here. He's left and authoritarian. Hitler is left a little bit right on a, a, um, in terms of his thing authoritarian as well. Margaret Thatcher is sort of authoritarian. But where am I? Where's me? So I'm going to keep on going down. Oh, I'm not as libertarian as I would have liked, but um, but I'm definitely far right. Wow, I'm pretty far right. Um, it's kind of interesting. I would have thought I would be a little bit more libertarian, but oh well. So I'm, I'm pretty far right. Um, and not as a libertarian as I would have expected. I'm a little bit more balanced in terms of libertarian and authoritarian. Um, so I'm considered a social libertarian. That's interesting. Um, so economic right, left right, I'm very far right economically and uh, social libertarian. So I'm actually very socially liberal. So that's me. Um, I recommend you try this out. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to where you can take the test too. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this um, and my explanations of why I chose the things I did. 
Um, if I took a test again, I might slightly choose differently. Some of them I, I was kind of like, I could have gone either way. Um, not that committed to one point on some of them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting test to take. I recommend taking it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.